Hello champions, I'm a fourth varied player in this game, let's see which continent should I go for. I've still got a bunch of drops in the middle, I could I could go for one of those continents, guys, and the easiest continent for me to take would be the Nara Cups. Then, then I could go for Eastern Europe as well, and then I guess for Southeastern Europe too, but not immediately if I want to take over a continent immediately, guys, I should take over the Nara Cups. And so have a white player goes for Scandinavia, guys, but does he realize that he has to take over Finland as well? Basically, if the blue or yellow crushes the tutor army of the white player in Petra Zavodsk, the white player could just simply forget about getting that hole at all. Honestly, let's send alliance requests to all of the players, guys. Let's do it. Well, I guess not. that's not the best timing to send an alliance request for a purple, guys, because right here he is crushing my troops. But alright, we've got the black, blue and yellow players as my allies now, guys. Really good for us. Because it will be important. Get on whole continent. Send the black player goes for Orion, guys, which is in this set of blizzards is a tube on hold. But right here, it will take for a while for the black player to actually get it, guys. Might well actually not so long, maybe two more turns and set. And right here, I mean, another corner choice for me would be North Africa. I'm not going for any other continent, guys, before I take over the Nara Cups, guys, because right here, this continent for me required to only capture two territories, guys, and that's it. So why not, first of all, take over a very easy continent and then only expand to other places, which could be better. But I mean, at this point, the Nara Cups are super good, guys. A super good continent. And so, blue player takes over spin, guys. He gets another continent. The yellow player receives six troops, guys. And the easiest continent for him would be Italy. And that's a tube on hold, yes. Ups and Venice, guys. Right, well, why don't you take over it immediately? Well, all right, I told you, guys. Yes, the yellow player blitzes the white player troops over here. Prevents the white player from taking over Scandinavia, guys. And right, well, will you break through the purple player? White, let's go. Well, I mean, that's a such a big mistake, I would say. Unless I guess it makes the purple player rich good. But basically, right here, we will be both in much lesser destruction. Guys, and right here, the purple player technically could get the attacker's advantage by crushing that 6 through army of the white player first. Right, and let's see, will you successfully make it? Well, that's not 100% blood, but right, purple, what will you do? Right, well, attacks the white player's territories over here. Right, so I think a blue player would like to expand to West Africa. Guys, right here, that would be a tube on hold. West Africa. African spin combined if he additionally takes over a lot, guys. And when he could take over Bangassi right here, guys, to have North Africa too. Right, so the blue player situation, guys, position is going to be very strong. Hmm. Here the black player takes more territories in Orient, guys, and right here, I mean, let's go right here. He's offline, the black player is offline, guys. I think basically I will expand right here, guys, before the blue player did. Let's go take over those territories like that, guys. And let's fortify my troops like that. Right here, I have the advantage over the blue player, guys, because I I've got the second continent first. On the other hand, the blue player could counter that by breaking through me now. But all right, I think he is going for West Africa, guys. I mean, let's see how many troops will he waste, guys, because I mean, I could simply break through him immediately once he takes over it. But here, he won't take over it immediately, guys, so I'll expand to Southeastern Europe. But once he takes over West Africa, guys, um, I will be betraying him, I think. But I mean, have a look on the whole situation on the board, guys. Because what about if a yellow player breaks through me now or something? And I'll send a thumbs up to the yellow player. Let's be friends, yellow. Right here, you're a weak player. You do not have great expanding possibilities. Well, I mean, you could technically expand to France and Central Europe. But for now, you're just simply with one continent alone. And right, well, I mean, smart play by the white player. Yeah, guys, he won't unleash the power player's army. He doesn't take over Scotland. Yeah, I mean, the power player, <laughs> the power player was actually outsmarted by what, guys? Nice. <laughs> Even for right here, I think I would prefer if we would just continue Rushing each other's troops. Well, I'm not sure, guys, because I mean, some of the red will have to take care of yellow, I guess. So I guess it's even better if one of them prevails. Better that would be purple or white. And I mean, in this case, so far it would be white. White. Right, well, let's see what does the black bot do, guys, because it might be an issue. Yes, right, nice. Add some more troops to Mascara. And right, will you crush either one of those two troop armies? No. Right, why don't you, don't you help out? Don't you help out? Blue. 11 troops received by me, guys. I will continue expanding. Let's add a troop here. Let's add the rest of my troops right here, guys. Let's continue expanding like crazy. Let's continue doing that aggressively, guys. I'll just simply go through all of those armies. Yes, 100% blood 
Bots Rutegas to minimize the borders, especially against the bots. And let's fortify my free throw army like that. Honestly, right here, maybe I shouldn't even guard Rutegas. I mean, it's, it's really up to yellow. The yellow player could break for me at any time he wants. Those troops are not really helping to defend against yellow. Right when the blue player trusts me, guys, right here, he fortifies his troops, all of his troops to this border. Well, the thing, guys, is even for right here, I could take the advantage out of blue. That could be possible, but the yellow player would then betray me, seeing what I'm becoming too overpowered. So honestly, I'm not sure how greedy do I want to be. Alright, what's when he blitzes two troops of yellow? Right here means he obviously doesn't want to unleash seven troop army of a purple player in Oslo, guys. Alright, here the purple player's biggest concern, guys, is to retaliate white, and the white player's biggest concern is to properly defend against purple. So right here, I do not care about those players, guys. They take care of each other. Then the black player is a bot. It's a player who bought it out. So in this case, I only care to properly protect my borders against bots. So what the bot wouldn't be able to break through me easily. Then the blue player is the second. Well, I mean, technically he's the strongest one, guys, but I mean, the second strongest, the, the biggest issue to me, guys. But when the question is, what would the yellow player do about that? Yeah, honestly, I think I should break through blue, guys, right? Yes. Maybe I sh should just simply break through West Africa and that's it, guys. Maybe I shouldn't go that aggressively. And let's neutralize the black bot here, guys. Yeah, honestly, I will have to break through blue, guys. But let's neutralize the black bot over here. Do it. Let's break through blue, guys. To sustain my advantage and let's fortify that army back. Yeah, because I mean, right here, I shouldn't appear being too greedy. Well, my troops, my troops, guys, received by blue, and he could have a set. Our alliance is over. And of course, he does have a set, guys. He does have a set, guys. And right when he break from me, he fails that. Like a dice for me, guys. Good. Yeah, I mean, it's really up to yellow, guys, what to do about me now. Eight troops received by him, right here. Hopefully, he stays as a good ally. I will send him a thumbs up. The white player accepts my alliance request as well, guys. Yeah, I mean, right here, I think I didn't bring that much attention towards myself when it comes to yellow. I, I have three continents, guys, I didn't take over West Africa, so the yellow player might not care about me that much. Alright, so well, the white player trades an asset, guys. Will he take that 7 troop army down? Well, no, not yet. The purple player could have a set at 4 cards as well, guys. That would be 8 troops. And right here, he prevents the yellow player from taking over Central Europe, guys, because Denmark is a part of it. The yellow player seems to be wanting to expand to Russia, though. And rats, purple, will you do that, Blitz? Will you do that, Blitzer? That would be terrible for you, you would just simply lose the game. I mean, you would get your revenge on white, but that would be it. Right, and you even skip. You even skip a turn, you do not even get a card. Why? Right, and yeah, basically, right here, you're asking what the white player would crush your army. Right here, yes, let's go, let's go. Like what? Wipe out the blue player from over here, and the white player as well, yes, that's huge. 17 troops received by us, guys. I mean, I feel so bad with drink a blue player. I feel so bad about it. I just set values and traps, guys. I mean, should I eliminate black? I mean, honestly, I mean, should I snowball the game right? I mean, let's do it. Why not? And traps, guys. Troops. Well, let's add all of them, whatever, guys. Let's go eliminate the black player from the game, guys. Through the yellow player's army. Okay, yes, a bad blitz, guys. This is why I added more troops. Just to make sure I am safe. All right, well, let's territory, guys. Let's go. Well, right here, there is just a thing, guys, what I will bring our player's attention towards myself. And Basically, right here, I have to break through blue guys. Yeah, I have no other choice now. Let's go right here, let's capture those territories in the three clan guys, so I wouldn't have to do any troop splits, guys. Let's go. And let's fortify my free troop army like that. Right here, I'm, I'm expecting getting broken by the yellow player, guys. I was having a sure I mean, the blue player would have to go this whole way, but I mean, he might do that if he doesn't reach quit. When the purple player is lost, guys, his, all of his thoughts right here is to getting revenge on white, and the white player might just simply be in intimidated by purple and don't care about me either. Red blue, well, let's see what do you do over here. Okay, well, just one troop territory. And red, well, you lock your troops like that, guys. He locks the troops like that, guys. Let's see, yellow, what do you do right here? 15 troops, right here, I'm expecting getting attacked by yellow as much as possible. I mean, otherwise, he would be literally giving me the game, right? Yes. Yes, I mean, yes, he will attack me, guys. Right here, there's only one way for him to attack based on his troops deployment, guys. Or is he just simply taking over Eastern Europe and the Russian Empire, guys, without breaking through my continent. Well, that's a big mistake if that's the case. He should attack me as much as possible at this point. Right, well, I will send you a thumbs up. Attack my territory if you need to. Yellow. Right, yeah, means... <laughs> I'm waiting for the purple and white players. Turns on right, he sends me a heart, guys, sends me a heart. Well, why do those players trust me so much? We should attack.
attack me as much as possible. Let's see what about what guys will he attack me? Well, crushes we have to parma guys, but I mean he just simply wanted to capture a territory and that's it. Let's see purple will you smash their troops into what I mean? Yeah, basically when I meet the Benve game man, right? He will know he'll get a card, guys. He'll get a card. Alright. I can't trust <laughs> I can't <laughs> blitzes. Blitzes me. Sverty troops. It is seed by me. Yes, what do I do guys right now? It's should I trade? I mean, do I eliminate blue guys? Yes. I mean, the set value right here is 20 troops. Yes, I eliminate blue guys. Yeah, I'm ex expert getting the attackers advantage over here, guys. And I right here, want to minimize the number of players, guys, because if we all start trading in sets, guys, man, I basically lose a bunch of my advantage. And right here, here is the question, guys, do I eliminate purple? Or I mean, white? I mean, the white player is even better killer right here, but right. 36 troops, guys, versus 32 troops of white. That'd be a little risky. All right, how about? That's how about if you go to eliminate purple instead? Give me fail that we'll lose most guys. Well, honestly, right here, have to be three yellow guys if that's the case. Let's go, let's wipe him out from over here, guys. Let's do it. Yes. Yes, basically, I have to assure guys to dominate this game right here. I mean, I didn't want to risk anymore, guys, to better try eliminating purple and white and potentially failing. But right here, I think I'm basically guaranteed to win the game breaking through yellow. So, yeah, I means the yellow player can attack me as much as he wants, so it doesn't matter. Right here, the purple player is locked anyways, guys. I mean, the white player might eliminate him from the game right here. He trades in assets. He will he go for me. Alright, well, he goes for me, but alright, well, he... I mean, he doesn't blitz my twin through parma, guys. So, right here, will eliminate purple. Alright, well, I mean, it's just good move by the white player to try sustaining. I mean, to equalize the power right here, guys. But I mean, I'm still... I will still be in the advantage right here. And it would be even helpful if a purple player gets another cut, guys, unless I do not have a set. But I do, yes, so I eliminate purple. Alright, and will the white player lock his troops out with be appreciated for the fire to Mercia. Alright, three troops received by purple. Please get a card. What your toast anyways, purple, no matter what you do. I'm eliminating him. The troops. I mean, for two cards, it wouldn't be worth eliminating, but for three cards, it's definitely worth it. And so, I mean, the purple player showed what already what he would attack me. Right here, I brought all of the players' attention towards myself, guys. The question is, could I eliminate yellow after I eliminate purple? Guys, well, right here means I won't be able to trade in a set. I won't be able to trade in another set, unfortunately. Right? Yeah, so I have to split my troops like that, guys. Let's Let's go. Let's blitz the purple player over here, guys. K16, it's more than troops. Let's eliminate the purple player from over here, guys. Okay, and right here, we have to attack a white player as much as possible. Right here means I should have made my attacks faster, but well, let's go. Let's attack the white player over here, guys. Let's take over those territories right here. And okay, well, that will be it, I guess. Right here means I'm fighting against two players at once, guys. Both white and yellow players want to attack me. Because, I mean, so obviously, I mean, I got too much power, so I have to face consequences. Yeah, but I mean, this is a yellow player that you put the game, guys. Well, yeah, not. I have a color that I would like to eliminate. To eliminate yellow, guys, if I can. Yes, please, waste with troops. Connect your troops in a single line. Right, so I just have to not forget about two troop army parts. Yeah, right, I will trade and sort of out troops. That, guys, I think should be enough troops to eliminate yellow or something around those lines. Okay, let's see, white, what do you do? Please stop attacking my territory, sir. Here, let's send him a thumbs up. Let's see what does he do. Well, please wipe out yellow from party. Alright, yes, that's helpful if you took a territory of yellow, guys, because I mean, right here it might be close whether I eliminate yellow or not. But that's, I mean, yeah, basically, what player uses basically all of his troops, guys, but right, six troops on a six troops received by me, guys. I mean, 48 means. And right here, we have to do, I mean, two troops splits, guys. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I should risk it, right? Let's go right here. Like, that guys, okay, that's a terrible blitz. That's a terrible blitz. Uh, yes, I don't think I'll really make it, guys. So right here, I have to attack the white player back. Let's go, let's do it. Okay, let's attack the yellow player right here, guys. So right, well, that will be 40 troops. It is seed by yellow. Right, do I have a set? No, I do not. Yeah, but right here, I should prepare myself to eliminate white guys. Right, yeah, I mean, right here, the yellow player attacks me, guys. Ah, uh, terrible. Alright, but I mean, it's right, well, he locks those troops like that, guys. Alright, well, okay, well, he's attacking me. Guys, he's breaking through me. Ah, uh, alright. Alright. Yes, it basically seems right here, the white player is going all in on me, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay, I will tell for the... Right here, I'm making alliance with... I mean, I'm sending him alliance request, guys, because I'm not going to break with him anyways. Right here, yes. A thumbs up and a heart. Please attack white. Yeah, right here, I do not uh, expect much from that alliance, guys. But I mean, I could try. I could try doing that to see better he would attack white guys. And it would be easier for me to eliminate him from the game. Right here, if he doesn't have a set of three cards, obviously. Yes, a thumbs up. Let's see, I mean, right here, he will take over Orion, guys. I mean, that's still 
helpful because we have one how to go taking over those territories. If do I have a set guys? I do not have a set. All right, well, I mean, how would you have still had the chances to win the chat, guys? But I think it will be toast. All right, okay, he sets what looks like that guy's this way. Okay, please attack, please attack, yellow, please attack, yellow, come on, sure, come on, sure, why? All right, 17 troops, guys. Well, yes, I do not have a set, guys. Otherwise, I would have won the game. You know what? Let's go. I mean, it's better for me if a uh, white player gets eliminated by yellow guys, enemies. Right here, thumbs up for yellow, please attack, white, and a heart. Let's go. I mean, so right here, yes, let's see, guys. I mean, right here, I'm feeling white for yellow, but I mean, so that's... Yeah, I mean, that's still the best chance for me to win, guys, because I mean, the yellow player is low, and so I mean, so the white player would, be, would just simply keep attacking me. I mean, right here, yellow, you won't have enough time to eliminate me. I mean, right here, otherwise, I mean, right here, if a white player has a set, right here, you're giving... I mean, letting the white player make a comeback, right here, well, you could eliminate him easily and make sure you win the game, yellow. Because right here, you're giving a chance to white. Well, right here, you were guaranteed to eliminate white and win against me. But I mean, if a white player doesn't have a set, guys, either, guys, right here, I mean, that's an opportunity for me to make a comeback. So let's see, do you have a set, white, or not? Okay, and okay, well, he doesn't have a set, guys, that's huge, wow. That's huge. Okay, please connect the yellow players. Army right here or something. I mean, do I still win the game right here, guys? Here's the question. Let's trade on assault, guys. I will get, I will get. Four cards, yes. Come and troops will I leave, guys. Let's VRT, maybe just to be in the safe side, guys. Let's add the rest of my troops right here, guys. So, yeah, basically, the yellow player misplayed, guys. He could have won this game so easily. He could have had this game, guys. But yeah, he's giving that game to me right here. will attack a bunch of territories of yellow, guys, before I finish dealing with the white player. Okay, well played. Thanks, thank you very much, White. But with yeah, I do not want to waste my time. I want to attack the yellow player as much as possible. Because I mean, he misplayed so badly, guys. Could he have won so easy? At the end, basically, right here, we have the speed advantage over the yellow player, guys. Right here, let's go. Let's take over as many territories as possible, guys. And I mean, looking at the troop counter, guys, actually, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, well, let's actually take over as one as well, guys. So even for it, I'm unleashing his army, guys, but I just want to take over as many territories as possible. Well, let's not take over this one, guys. Let's fortify my troops like that. Three troops received by yellow guys. He trades in a 55 troops set guys. And I mean he he's at four territories, I'm at 72 territories. So let's see who fast who fast could he attack guys. But he, he isn't attacking those territories as fast. Alright. He will break through the noob corner, guys. And as I meant, the yellow player had the game. He could, he should have just followed my directions and eliminated the white player from the game, guys. That would have basically been guaranteed victory, guys. But right here, the white player didn't have a set of four cards either. So I go to trade my set, guys, and eliminate the white player myself. And I mean, he would have been able to break through me after he eliminated white from the game. He would have traded on another set. And so right, well... Right here, I mean, almost ends up locking his army, but at the end he didn't. Uh, right here, I mean, let's go right here this way, I guess. Right here, let's go crushing those troops like that, guys. Let's go key. I get a super good attacker's advantage at the same queue. Let's wipe out all of the territories over here, guys. So I just have to make a free troop split over here, unfortunately, but oh well. Let's go. I mean, let's take over this one. Let's blitz those troops like that, you guys. And let's fortify my a troop army like that. The yellow player rage quits the game, guys. Guys, right here will have another set, guys. Yes, his bot blitzes. My troops get a good attacker's advantage, but right here means a necessary troop split by the bot. He would rather use those troops to break through more continents of mine rather than taking over this hold, which I would break through anyways. 76 troops, guys. 65 more and plus 2 from the cards. Let's go right here. Yes, I mean, both territories are in a single land, guys. And what a nice and sweet victory for us, guys. Let's go. But I mean, so white player is smart, right? Yes, white player is master, guys, man. The yellow player is expert, and then we'll go at intermediate, novice, and beginner. 